we're asked to write the quadratic equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c for the parabola passing through the points zero comma eight and one comma two that also has a tangent line to the graph of the parabola with a slope of four at x equals negative two. Let's first begin with the points. Well, if these points are on the parabola, they must satisfy the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Also notice how the point zero comma eight is the vertical or y-intercept and therefore c is equal to eight. But let's go ahead and show that by performing substitution into the equation where when x is equal to zero, we know y must be eight. So performing substitution into the equation, we substitute eight for y and zero for x. Simplifying, notice how we do have eight equals c. So let's go ahead and put a box around this to find the equation of the parabola we do need to find a, b, and c, and we just found c. And now for the second point of one comma two, let's do the same thing. We will substitute two for y and one for x, which gives us two equals a times the square of one plus b times one plus c, but we know c is equal to eight, so let's write plus eight. Simplifying, we have two equals a plus b plus eight, Let's go ahead and subtract eight on both sides and write the equation in the form of a plus b equals negative six. And again, to get this equation here, we subtracted eight on both sides and then just wrote the equation in the opposite order. And then for the third part, we know the parabola has a tangent line with a slope of four at x equals negative two which means that x equals negative two, the derivative function value is equal to four, which indicates that y prime of negative two is equal to positive four. So let's go ahead and find y prime, which is the derivative of ax squared plus bx plus c with respect to x. The derivative of ax squared with respect to x is two ax plus the derivative of bx with respect to x, which is b times one or b, plus the derivative of c with respect to x, which is zero because c is a constant. And again from here, because we know y prime of negative two equals four, we can substitute four for y prime and negative two for x. Performing the substitution gives us four equals two a times negative two plus b Simplifying, we have four equals negative four a plus b. So now we can use this equation and the equation a plus b equals negative six and solve as a system of equations. So let's write this equation as negative four a plus b equals four below the equation a plus b equals negative six. And now we need to solve the system we can use either elimination or substitution. Let's use the method of elimination. Notice how both of the equations have plus b in them. So let's make the b terms opposites by multiplying the first equation by negative one and leaving the second equation the same. So the first equation becomes negative a minus b equals positive six. The second equation remains the same. Notice now the b terms are opposites, and therefore the sum is zero. And then negative a or negative one a minus four a is negative five a. We have negative five a is equal to 10, dividing both sides by negative five. And simplifying, we have a is equal to negative two. So now the last step is to determine the value of b and we can use the equation a plus b equals negative six or negative four a plus b equals four. I'm gonna go ahead and use the equation a plus b equals negative six. So if a plus b equals negative six and we now know a is equal to negative two, we have negative two plus b equals negative six. Adding two to both sides of the equation and simplifying we have b equals negative four. Now that we have the values of a, b, and c, we know the equation for the quadratic function. We know the equation for the quadratic function in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, 
our equation is y equals negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. Again, we know this because a is negative 2, b is negative 4, and c is positive 8. And before we go, let's take a look at this graphically. We were given the points 0, 8 and 1, 2 were two points on the graph of the parabola. We were also given the graph had a tangent line with a slope of 4 at x equals negative 2, which is this point here. The red line is the given tangent line. And we just found the equation of the blue parabola, which again is y equals negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. I hope you found this helpful.